but the course coming on electric finish. Do it again. He's coming at Rainbow Bridge. He's a board leader and he will do it again. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to Sterling Miller from Pound Bloodstock and, of course, the Michael Miller Racing Stables. He's uh, firmly part of the team and a uh, always willing contributor to our show here at GTV. So it gives us great pleasure to greet you, Sterling. How are you today? Very well yourself, thank you. Yes, good. Lovely to have you on the show. Thanks for your time. Let's go through your runners for Hollywood Vets Gravel on Sunday. As everybody knows, and this is a pre-recorded show. And uh, we start off with the second race with Ticket to Cairo, uh, who runs uh, in the colors of uh, Perik Majan Racing. And uh, Ashton Aries will ride this horse. Lightly raced uh, Sterling. How's he doing? Uh, because Graham and I have given this horse a chance. We think he can improve to go close. Yes, he's doing very well. His first run at Grable was better. We were a little bit disappointed at Scottsville last time. And um, I make him a huge value bet for the day. I think he'll finish in the first three. Okay, so uh, I'm just making a note here so I can share it with the viewers on race day as well. So first three chance for ticket to Cairo, uh, but he's fit, he's well, and uh, all systems go. Yeah, all systems go. I think he'll go very close. Okay, the uh, the next race is uh, your where your next runner comes up, uh, whisper, <coughs> excuse me, Whispering Wave. Uh, that's in the third race. And uh, could, she, could she start showing some improvement now, this daughter of Ashar Wes? I'm hoping she's matured a little bit with time. She's had a few chances. I do think she would be better over 10 furlongs. It might be a, still a bit sharp for her. Maybe back end of quartet. Okay, that is number four, Whispering Wave. Then we go on to the fourth race, where it is a competitive race, but you certainly seem to have the horses that can be very competitive. Let's start off with Mounted Warrior, uh, which is Ashton Aries' ride, uh, a coup de gras. And uh, how's he doing and what are you expecting from him? He's doing very well. Um, this is trouble in this race. I'm not sure how to split them. They worked together on Tuesday on the work. On the sand work, Mounted Warrior was going better between the two of them. But I do think that Royal Exhibit will be a fitter horse. So I would lean a little bit towards Royal Exhibit. They're both drawn a little bit in the bush. They're both going to have to use their draw and go handy. So it is going to be an interesting race. Let's talk about Royal Exhibit for a moment, uh, Sterling. And uh, a horse that was in, uh, good enough, thought of highly enough by the stable to go straight to, you know, as a maiden into a Group 2 last time and was far from disgraced. You've got to be pleased with that effort. Yes, he ran a third in a gay crash of stakes, and then we thought he was a big runner. It was a tad disappointing, but I mean, four lengths off him on July Day is an excellent effort. He is bred to go 2,000, so we've got the scoops on him just to get him into the race a little bit more, and he is full of class. It would be no surprise for him to win on the weekend. Okay, let's move along to the eighth race. And uh, let me just get to my... My page is sorted out here. Angelo's Flame, uh, you've opted to put a, a pair of scoops on him, the son of Irish Flame, and uh, a pleasing debut. Yes, excellent debut. Very happy. He's matured well. He's had all the time in the world. The scoops have woken him up, so um, he's definitely a big runner. Okay, and I think there's, uh, there's one more to talk about. Yes, uh, the eighth race, number 12 as well, Power to Command. Uh, a type of horse that has lurked into the back end of quartets before. Yes, he has. He's a hard knocker, shame. He's going to have to use his draw as well. He's going to have to race handy. And, yeah, place chance. Sterling, nice to chat to you as always. Thanks for your transparency. Let's hope uh, all goes well for the Miller team on Sunday. And, of course, we look forward to seeing you at the races. Thank you very much for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. Lovely. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thanks, Dave. Bye-bye.